This is a good bill, and I ask for the body's vote of yes. I want to thank the gentle lady from the 28th for working with me on this, and the chair, uh, the gentle lady from the 44th for uh, considering this through committee and helping get it to this point today. Madam Speaker, uh, most people know, and in your districts, you have what are called short-line railroads. Uh, these are important uh, pieces of the transportation backbone for our state and our nation. Uh, we are very fortunate in Washington State that we have a very trade-dependent, uh, our ports and all of the things that we work with within our rail infrastructure that are served by the big railroads. But those big railroads need the little ones too. And that's why we have what are called Class Two and Class Three railroads that are uh, throughout the entirety of the state. The state of Washington, actually, Madam Speaker, even has its own Class One or Class Two railroad in the PCC in Eastern Washington, a critical route to moving our grain products throughout. What this bill does is it allows for some tax incentives to help these short-line railroads improve their infrastructure, uh, whether that's replacing gravel or ties or the actual rail. Some of this rail, Madam Speaker, dates back almost 100 years throughout many of these short lines throughout uh, our region in our state. Madam Speaker, what we saw over the last uh, several years with the supply chain and the need to get these products moved throughout the state, it became even more important for these railroads to, be, to have the ability to do this. We need to be able to support them. We did that last year through our move ahead plan with the transportation work that we've done in this, in this body. This is just another step. This is another program that will help make it more efficient, cost effective to get at these uh, infrastructure projects to keep these railroads moving throughout our state. I encourage you, yes.